This is Jamie Stegmeier from Stillmeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about the release of your product. So you've run the Kickstarter, you've fulfilled your rewards to backers, or maybe you're at the tail end of that. And oftentimes what happens at this point is that projects kind of fizzle out at a key point in time when you could launch into retail success. You probably had a lot of buzz, or hopefully you had a lot of buzz during your Kickstarter campaign, but sometimes that buzz is almost focused too early and you don't have it when you actually release the product. So I wanted to talk about a few ways really quick um, to help generate some buzz actually when you are releasing the product. Like it's during that tail end when you're, when you're fulfilling rewards near the end of that and when you're getting close to what you hope will be a retail release of your game. Um, so a few things you can do. One, you can release advanced copies to reviewers. I would suggest going with the big reviewers for this. For later copies, you can send them to any reviewers who, who are willing to put in the time and effort to talk about your game to their audiences. But I'd go with the big reviewers for this one. Go with Rado, go, for, go with Dice Tower, go with um, uh, uh, Game Boy Geek. All the, all the big reviewers. Um, get them copies pretty much at the same time that your backers are getting them so that they can review them in time for the release date. Um, I highly suggest leveraging your backers for this release. It help get your backers excited that they finally have the game. Sure, they're probably excited that they actually received it, but uh, there's, a, uh, there's a psychology behind seeing that a lot of people are playing the game at the same time. So you want to encourage backers to actually get that game to the table and talk about it and ask questions about it. This will move you up on the hotness of Board Game Geek. Um, so post a project update that reminds backers that the game is now in their hands and that they can play it and that you're there to answer questions. You can even encourage kind of silly levels of engagement, like telling backers to post photos of themselves playing the game on social media, things like that. I highly suggest that you post photos once a week. So pick one really great photo of the game and post it once a week on Board Game Geek um, in the hopes of uh, having enough likes on that photo so that it'll get to the front page of Board Game Geek. You can do other things to get likes. You can't pay for likes or like bribe people for likes. You can't have contests around the likes, but you can put the photo out there on your other social media and say, hey, like this on Board Game Geek, and that'll push it to the front page. Um, I also, I always use a money back guarantee on my projects, or I did. Um, and so this is something that you have to already have set in place when you actually run the project. But my money back guarantees had a one month time frame, So it said, one within one month of you receiving your game, your reward, um, if you don't like it, you can send it back to me for a money back guarantee. And this kind of adds a little bit of urgency when backers actually get the game to encourage them to get it to the table right away. Um, and again, this will drive conversations on social media. Any, any way that you can get people to get the game to the table will make a big difference when you're building that release level buzz. Um, Last, I, I've started using back-in-stock notifications. So you, maybe you had your project on Kickstarter, you had the rewards there, but you also had a pre-order up on your website, say, so that non-backers could still order the basic retail version of the game. Um, but at a certain point, you may have had to cut off the supply of that so you, that you could ensure that you had enough for your backers. I use back-in-stock notifications, so anyone who does that, who tries to order it but finds that it's not in stock, um, when I finally know, okay, I have games for these people, I can sell games to these people, I know their emails. I can contact them and say, hey, it's back in stock now. You can now order the game. Again, this is another way to engage people at the point of release. If you have any other ideas of how to do this, how to build buzz when you're actually releasing the game, feel free to let me know in the comments here or on my Kickstarter Lessons blog. Thanks.